eyes to see that the entire corner is painted in, almost painted in, uh, in purple. And, uh, <coughs> but, like, and some of us who are not wearing purple is almost kind of like the hollow of the light of purple is turning into a purple. Uh, as Robert uh, Papa said, that this is a great moment that every year we come together and celebrate this day. We are doing the day before, but this day is the best of all day. It is a reminder. It is sometimes a human day to use a reminder that whatever we have gone so far in the gender equality is, is some progress but there is miles to go and every, every year this is also a kind of a shocking and rude reminder to us when we look at the, when we audit, when we look at the a progress that we have made, we get encouraged by the development, but also get like in the mammoth task that is ahead of us. So it is a reminder day, and a reminder day that why one day should be uh, uh, International Women's Day, why not every day should be uh, International Women's Day, and why not every moment should be. I think. I think when we look at different, different parameters that, and who are following their website, we see that when we talk about pay quality, we say like it will take more than 100 years or something to get globally pay quality. So are, there to, are, we, are we wanting to wait for that law? Are we wanting to... Uh, take it as a not get outraged by these differences. So this is a reminder for us that we all have a responsibility to get outraged by this. And when I say outraged, it is not about women and men as care. We know that. That gender equality is not about. The gender norms have done more harm to or equally or more harmful men and boys as well in our society. And when women are empowered, we know that it is not about only women, the entire society benefits, the entire family benefits, and the entire nation benefits. So in these words, I think, that it's a reminder that it is, it is, it is not only limited to a particular gender, but it is, it, is a, it is much more bigger than that. It is much more rooted in, in a just society, in a just environment. So, uh, thank you, Amit, for giving me the chance to talk to our team on this day. Uh, let us also talk to a moment of celebration. I think if you look at uh, some of the achievements that CARE has done, of some of the achievements, if you look at that Bangladesh has done in a little over 50 years, tremendous, humongous differences. Countries have taken centuries to go there, and in 50 plus years we have made that possible. So we should be proud of that as well, but also be mindful of where we are uh, still lacking and where we have to forward. So we renew our commitment, renew our energy, renew our uh, strategy as well. So thank you very much.